Hey everybody, it's Evan from Nubs Nook, and today we're going to talk a little bit about mouse housing and uh, whether or not you should keep mice in a 10 gallon aquarium. Now when I was searching on YouTube looking for cage uh, recommendations for mice, I found a lot of people that had, had said that the minimum, which is perfectly fine, was uh, for one male mouse or three female mice was 200 square inches, which is the equivalent of a 10 gallon aquarium. So, I have a 10 gallon aquarium, and I thought, hey, I've been wanting to get mice for about a year. And it'll be fine if I keep my one male mouse inside this 10 gallon aquarium. I am starting to rethink that decision right now. Um, and let me tell you why. So in order to have a mouse, you need a wheel, right? And just like most small animals, you want a flat bottom wheel. Uh, the minimum that I recommend for most small animals is actually an eight and a half inch wheel, which I have one right here. Mine is old, so that's why it's all gross right here. Um, it's also an old wire wheel which I do not recommend wire wheels at all because they're really bad for your small pets. They can cause lots of foot injuries. Um, I am just using this one temporarily. It is a wire wheel which I have covered in duct tape because my little mouse doesn't seem to be a big chewer. And uh, this will just suffice while I wait for the new flat bottom one to come in the mail. So this is an eight and a half inch wheel. Let me show you compared to the cage how that fits in there. It takes up almost a quarter of the cage. I'm just going to set it in here. So there we go. There's that. Doesn't look so big inside the cage. You wouldn't really think it was that big of a problem. But that's not all you need. As you can see, I have a little box right over here, and he's actually sleeping in there right now. Uh, hopefully he'll come out during the video, but I don't know if he will or not. So I have a tiny little box, because I wasn't really planning on getting this particular mouse. Um, I'm going to go into that in another video, and why I ended up adopting him and bringing him home. Um, but this is just a teeny little box. It's basically the bottom of a, of a Masacholi box. Um, so he has that as his little house. He's got another house coming in the mail. He's got his wheel. He's got his KT glass water bottle. Uh, the reason you want glass water bottles for mice is if you get the plastic ones, I've heard that they chew on them and then they can break and it can be just a big mess. So I have the KT, uh, the smaller glass water bottle for him. It seems to be working well. I have another one that is not working so well in another one of my habitats, so I don't know if I really suggest that brand or not. I have to do a little bit more testing, see if there's something that I'm doing wrong with it. Okay, so anyway, back to the back to the tank. He's got his wheel, he's got his house, which are two necessary things for a mouse. You need a wheel, you need a house, you need a water bottle. Now he is scatter fed. So, he doesn't have a food dish. Scatter fed just means that I um, scatter food around his tank so that he can find that. A lot of people recommend that for hamsters and male mice because it gives them something to do. Um, and now I have a bunch of homemade toys to put in there with him. And some not homemade. So I got this little hide and seek lug. I'm going to put that in there. And this is the medium size for one off of eBay. It's actually very small. I don't know if he can fit in it or not, but we're going to see. So I'm going to stick that in here. Okay. Now, you should be able to tell that it's starting to fill up quite a bit. And I have a homemade jute twine and popsicle stick toy. Just going to set that in there. I've got a homemade little tunnel toy out of a toilet paper tube. Set that in there. G20 on the popsicle stick. Um, 
couple of little cardboard jute twine flowers. Which, he needs chew toys. Mice need chew toys. That's another thing I forgot to mention. They need cho chew toys. If you don't have chew toys for your mouse, its teeth are going to grow way too fast. And um, they can actually have big problems with that where the teeth can break or they can end up stabbing into their mouths. And it's just a bad deal. So chew toys are a must. So I have these. I'm just going to scatter them in the cage. Now, I also have this bendy bridge because, you know, that's, that's fun stuff. But look at look at how full the cage is right now. I'm going to move you guys a little bit. Hopefully, I don't mess this up. All right. So, I want you to check that out. Just how much room he actually has in there. And if you could see how active this little guy is, you would understand this is not this is not a good setup. Because see, he's got all that stuff in there, but I haven't really even included all that many other things. Mice love to climb. So he needs to have a lid with toys hanging from it. Um, say I wanted to put a food dish in there, because some people do want to put food dishes in there. Uh, just to like be able to monitor his food intake a little bit better Then that would take up floor space as well and most hi hide houses that you get Like the one that I'm I actually ordered because I ordered a set of three off of Amazon. I'll link that in the description um, Are way bigger than this little box that I got here So he has like not very much room to move around. He can't run for more than, uh, I believe the cage is 19 and a half inches wide. Which is not very wide. It sounds big. I understand that it sounds big. It's really not though. When you think about how much rodents can run and play and things like that, it's just not a good idea. Um, could an animal be in this cage and survive? Yeah. Um, is it better than a critter trail? Y yeah, it's way better than a critter trail. Um, but it's still not the best. So I'm actually planning on upgrading him. I would say if you don't really have a ton of space, a 20 gallon tank might be okay. Um, my general rule for keeping pets and it had been this for quite a while because I've had Syrian hamsters in the past and I've had dwarf hamsters. And I've kept them in, I kept a dwarf, my dwarf hamsters in a 20 gallon and realized pretty quickly that it was way too small for them. They just went nuts and were throwing themselves at the glass all the time. It was a mess. Um, so now the one that I have left right now, she is Little Miss White. And she lives in a tank that, in a homemade habitat that's bigger than a 40 gallon aquarium. And I really think that that is a very good size for dwarves and mice. Uh, so I'm going to get him, I'm either going to make him a habitat that's the equivalent of a 40 gallon aquarium or bigger. Or I'm going to get him a 40 gallon. Um, because I just, I think this is too small. It's too small, and once I get more toys and I get uh, more, like that, uh, the appropriately sized house, I think you'll be able to see a little bit better. I'll probably do an update video because I'm not going to be able to transfer him into a bigger cage just yet for a little while, unfortunately. Um, money's tight, and I have to see if we have any extra materials in the garage to see if I could just build something from scraps. Uh, oh, if you are looking into getting a bigger tank right now, I think Petco has their dollar a gallon sale and they go up to like 20 or I think it's 29 gallons is the biggest thing that they have for that. But the 40 gallons and the 55 gallons are half off, I think. But that's great. That's how I got uh, my first 40 gallon breeder and it was awesome. 
Um, but yeah, don't keep pets in a 10 gallon aquarium. It's too small. Um, 200 square inches just isn't cutting it. It's just not good. It doesn't provide space uh, really for a whole lot of bedding either. Um, Cause I have all these other toys that I want to add in there. Just homemade, you know, cheap, cheap toys. Toilet paper tubes on jute twine. Super easy. Um, a hanging tunnel. This will be a hanging tunnel. Uh, cardboard pieces, like little squares, cut up and then strung on this jute twine. These are old like cereal boxes and stuff. Super easy. But they need to be they need to be hung up, so I need to make a lid. But once they get in there, you you won't be able to see hardly anything. Oh, and then I have this guinea pig toy left over from a bunch of stuff that I bought. Um and this little hide and seek tube. I'll probably do a video on how to make these. Sorry, this video is going like super long. I keep rambling. Anyway, basically, if you're going to get mice, or really any small animal, even if people say that a smaller tank is fine, generally go with a bigger one. Just because it, it seems significantly better. I know that my hamsters are so much happier now that I have them in bigger enclosures. And I'm sure that this little guy will be so much happier as well. Um... So yeah, anyways, I'll link the hides and, uh, hides, wheels, I'll link this little log thing, the water bottle, uh, down, down in the description, also the bedding that I use, uh, so that you can see that. Check us out on Etsy, I have my guinea pig liner shop. Um, we have Instagram, which I'm going to be putting lots of pictures of the mice up soon. And what else do we have? Twitter, Facebook, and all that good stuff will be linked down in the description. So, uh, yeah, have a good day, everyone. And, uh, I hope that you look forward to seeing more mouse videos in the future. Bye-bye, guys.